Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Radrick Davis. We've been through so much that our wedding and our love symbolize happiness. You're no longer alone. Like, this man is half of you. I'm just happy that our reception is in full swing and all of our friends and family are here celebrating and having an amazing time. Our late-ass friends finally showed up for the party and the food. Can we have everybody please take a seat for a special tribute? In loving memory of Keisha's father, we're going to take a moment of silence for Leslie James. Keisha was forced to grow up fast when her dad passed away. And I'm so happy that now she has Gucci and he'll take care of her. I would like to introduce Erica. She's going to get a, a tribute to the couple one time. Right. Go, girl. Your turn. Go, girl. My name is Erica, and I am best friends with the beautiful bride. Hey. I remember when Keisha met Gucci and the giddy girl she became during their courtship that followed. Keisha and I have been through a lot over the years, but planning this wedding was a roller coaster ride. This is an event that I will never forget. Gucci, please promise me that you will continue to cherish her, listen to her, keep making her laugh, support her goals and dreams, and keep having fun. Congratulations. Aww, thank you. <laughs> Today marks a new chapter for all of us. We are one big family. And yes, that does include Amina. Well, we made it. I'm overjoyed to stand here to witness the perfect ending of an exciting, beautiful fairy tale. I've known Gucci for like 15 years. It's like my big brother is finally marrying the woman of his dreams. A couple of months ago, I was reading my daughter a bedtime story about Prince Charming. I remember telling her that in real life, a prince most likely will not come rescue the princess on some elaborate white horse. I was wrong, though. What I should have told her was, anything is possible, baby girl. The prince may not have a white horse, you may have an ice cream cone, Dad. <laughs> and the princess may not need the type of rescuing in this story. But nevertheless, the magic of true love is all the same. In short, fairy tales can come true. And we're all here to attest to that. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Davis. I literally did not want to do this speech. I was so nervous, and I wanted to get through it without crying, which I did. So hopefully, they felt it as much as I wanted them to feel it. How's everybody doing? Hey. My name is uh, Victor. Rachel and I are brothers. We've seen good days. Uh, we've had our share of bad days. I'm not one time did I see my brother hold his head down. Not one time did I see him with the look of defeat in his face. I want to let you know that I love you. Uh, Keish. I'd like to thank you for being in. <laughs> I'd like to thank you for being loving, caring, thoughtful, the love of my brother. You know? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, uh, thank you. That's all I got. Thank you.